Hello, I'm Jacob with the Virtual Technology Assistance Program at Thomas Nelson Community College. Today, we will be covering what every student should do before returning their 48-hour or semester-loan laptop to the TNCC library. The library staff does their best to protect your privacy and personal property, but ultimately it is your responsibility as the student to ensure that you don't return anything that you don't need to. If you don't clear off all your personal information or personal property, it's possible that it could be given to another student. So the first thing to do is inspect all the ports and slots on the laptop. All the time, people will leave their wireless mouse receiver, SD card, USB flash drive, or even CD or DVD in the loaner laptops. Make sure to remove these before turning it back to the library. You could also unintentionally leave personal information on the laptops as well. To clear that out, let's look at Windows. All right, so let's open up the File Explorer and take a look at three common folders inside the computer. Desktop, Downloads, and Documents. So let's take a look at Documents. Uh, and if you don't want to keep the contents of your folders, you can just delete everything inside them. So click and drag, hold down, and release. And then right click on anywhere that's blue and click delete. And if this was deleted as a mistake, don't panic. We still have one thing left before it's actually gone. So let's go to the desktop and open the recycle bin. And at the top here, we can restore all items. Or if there's just one that you want back, we can right click on it and restore it. You can see it goes right back immediately to here. And to permanently delete it from the recycle bin, just click Empty Recycle Bin, and it will permanently delete these six items. So for the things you want to keep, plug in a flash drive and cut and paste your files to that, or you can back up your files to Google Drive. I did a video on that, and that will be linked in the video description if you're interested in learning more about that. Make sure to do this for all the files in Desktop, Downloads, and Documents. And the last thing we need to do is clear out the web browsers. I've seen some laptops returned where students are still logged into school accounts and even e-commerce websites like Amazon. The school laptops have Chrome, Firefox, and Edge installed, so we'll be clearing out the data on each of those. And if you only used one web browser, you can skip to that part of the video. I'll have timestamps in the description for each one. Let's start with Chrome. So let's click on the three dots up here. Go to Settings. The first thing we need to do is clear passwords and payment methods. It should never be configured to save passwords, but if it did save any, they would be here and you should delete all of them. And you would need to repeat this process for passwords, payment methods, and addresses. And let's scroll down a little bit further and go to clear browsing data. We want to clear out everything, so let's change this to all time and click on all of these and hit clear data. Now let's move on to Firefox. First click the three lines in the upper right corner and click on logins and passwords. And then just go through these and delete them one by one. Remove, yes, remove, yes, remove, yes, remove, yes. And then let's go ahead and click on these three bars again and go to options. And from here, click on privacy and security and scroll down to cookies and site data. Here we go. So we want to click on clear data and let's have everything selected and click clear, clear now. And then for history, let's click on clear history, everything and select everything. There we go. And now let's check out Microsoft Edge. Officially, we don't recommend it, but it is installed on the laptops. So similar to Chrome and Firefox, Click the three dots up here, click on history, click on the three dots here, and clear browsing data. Then make sure all the options are checked. And then for the time range, make sure all time is checked and click clear now. All right, there you go. Be sure to return the laptop with everything that came with it, including the case and charging cable. And be sure not to return to the library anything that it didn't come with. I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions about the contents of this video, please leave them in the comments or send them to vtaptncc at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.